Hi, uh, my name is Mark. I'm from the Animation and Game Pathway. Uh, outside of school, I specialize in NFT projects uh, and metaverse integration. So um, in 2021, September, actually I did an NFT project uh, which sold out in 60 minutes. Uh, under 90 minutes, we made a total of 1.4 million uh, in USD currency. Yeah, it changed my life forever. Right now, I am a full-time student and I'm also kind of part-timing uh, this little role I have in a company called Dark Matter. So Dark Matter is an agency which allows uh, NFTs, two companies, to integrate into the Web3 and Metaverse um, uh, landscape. So we deal with uh, same thing like clients uh, and we help them create NFTs from end to end and we bring them into this new meta. So our mission uh, is to enable brands and creators to adopt NFTs by seamlessly architecting um, unique gamification and NFT utility. So that is what Dark Meta does. I am the resident artist and lead artist in this um, startup. Uh, we do have some clients, uh, one of them being a local DJ artist. Another is a global toy making company. And the last one would be a streaming service um, they are pretty big in ASEAN right now. So as you can tell, like, there are three very different aspects of entertainment and arts. Uh, these are some of the clients that Dark Matter um, has under its belt right now. Yeah. This, is a, this is a fun story. When I was in year three, semester two, um, NFT technology, blockchain technology was actually booming and the trend of NFTs were actually increasing at that point in time. Uh, I was about to hit into my internship. So that was one side. And then the other side, uh, we have Alan. So Alan is currently now the CEO of Dark Meta. He asked me out for drinks. I said, okay, you know what, let's, let's go by. So what he pitched to us was that he wanted to do something very Asian orientated. Uh, he enjoyed the, the tale of the Zodiac, the Chinese Zodiac especially, you know, the one with the 12 animals the, um, and how they won their places in the stars. So I thought I was like, okay, that was kind of cool. Um, but what he wanted to do was have a dark twist to it. What if the creatures were actually more sinister than the fairy tale that we are very known to? So um, that was where I really loved that story. When I was in year three, I already did develop some 3D skills here. And I was like, you know what, let's just do it. The most I lose is time. Uh, Alan was actually, he actually bootstrapped the entire project on his own budget. So for three months, uh, we went into lockdown. Uh, I just spent every day sculpting each sculpture um, that you see now on the blockchain. Uh, one day, one model. Yeah, on the day of launch, uh, after four months of work, it was like, yeah, we sold out in 90 minutes. And uh, yeah, I, I, I came home and cried. <laughs> yeah. Dark Zodiac is a uh, a non-generative uh, 3D project uh, with a supply of 3,876 um, supply. Dark Zodiac, you guys have interesting Yeah. How NFT projects worked back then in 2021 was that projects would usually go live and when you mean uh, NFT, means like you take the picture, you take the code, and then you put these two together, it's called minting. You mint this JPEG onto a blockchain. We sold one packet and one card for one packet, something like um, how you would buy a Pokemon card. In a supply of 3,876, the entire sequence of uh, cards are all randomized, so no one can tell whether if I buy this many, then only the last few will be rare, or like the rare will be in front, and then the not so rare will be behind. Uh, it was fair. Uh, we didn't want to con anyone in terms of uh, this aspect. Yeah, that was how we, we, we sold our project. I really love Dual Masters. Back then when I was in secondary school, um, you know, you always have those foil cards, like those were like super shiny and then... So the system of tiering cards was very, very native to me. So this game I played called Gwen also has this same concept. Uh, it's, the Witcher, it's the Witcher's card game. It was a very fun process because you kind of have to... You have 12 animals and you kind of want them to look more and more rare as the tiers go up how you structure the gamification of like, you know, more armor, more clothes, more shiny stuff, you know, more lighting and stuff like that. Uh, it was super fun for me. Uh, Alan did not even uh, grab me by the neck and limit to me to anything. He was like, go ahead, full entire creative freedom. When I was uh, art directing Dark Zodiac, I had to liaise with a UI UX designer uh, and a 
a graphic designer. So they are very good friends of mine. They are alumni now. One of them is Joel Lee, and the one and another one is Felicia, Felicia Chua. We actually drew a lot of inspiration from Chinese folktale and lore. So there were many many Easter eggs like the snake. Actually, we referenced it to Pai Se Zuan. Like we took little details like the dragon. So the most royal dragon, the highest tier, has five claws instead of three because I think in Chinese mythology,、uh, the dragon has five claws. That's the most royal dragon. For the pig is、uh, Zhu Ba Jie.、Uh, we took inspiration from that.、Uh, we the, for the monkey zodiac, we took Sun Wukong obviously. So the rabbit we took from、uh, Chang'e. Yeah. So Chang'e is like a goddess of the moon. She has this pet rabbit, and then we just kind of. Drew many inspirations from that. Some of the community members who were native Chinese, like they were from China, Taiwan. Some of them from Vietnam. They were like they they could spot actually all these little details and like hey you know I I know this detail. Did you do this on purpose? I was like yes 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 I did this on purpose. It's like okay so we bonded over that kind of like、uh, Easter eggs I made. So I actually grew up in a very westernized setting.、Uh, All the forms of entertainment I consumed were actually very Western. I was actually a two D artist、uh, prior to entering NTU.、Uh, for many many years,、uh, even in Poly, I was very much a two D artist or graphic designer. I wanted to try something different, and then、uh, when I came here, I was thinking, you know what, I'm gonna try three D.、Uh, only in year two did I start my journey in three D, but I always knew somewhere in my heart that I wanted to do games as well. Uh, 3D is just kind of like the tool to get there.、Uh, I did apply for many many jobs as well. I got constantly rejected. So kind of like you know you want to go somewhere but the doors keep shutting. So you kind of like find a way to weave around this landscape of shut doors. When the NFT technology came about, I took it as a sign to risk everything and try this one thing. You pour your heart and soul into one thing and the world accepts you. You kind of feel really good about that moment. Yeah. So actually, I am doing,、uh, or rather, I'm pursuing games design here. Aside from the animation stuff like 3D production, I am doing games design as well.、Uh, you know, character modeling, environment setting, stuff like that. I, I was actually developing this、uh, little project called Serpent Time for a long, long time.、Uh, some people might say it's kind of foolish. You know, to why why do we want to spend so much time on one thing? I might argue that、uh, people like Neil Gaiman. Um, who actually wrote Swamp Thing? They kind of like took many many years as well for their IP to develop. They ghost write. They keep sending to the same publishers and they keep getting rejected. So I kind of idolize these people and I just didn't feel discouraged when、uh, I got rejected. So let me explain.、Uh, in Poly, I actually heard this idea from a mentor of mine. He said, "Mark, hey, what? I know you're really Western Westernized. Why don't you try something Asian for once?" So I was like, okay,、uh, I, I I gave it a go during poly, but I didn't give it too much thought. I went through army. I actually did a lot of reading on、uh, Asian culture, and in uni, it just kind of stuck. It took a form of comics first because that was the medium that I was most familiar with. It came in it came in the form of comics,、uh, graphic storytelling. But I realized that it might have not been the most efficient way to convey an idea or story. But once I took up some of the skills here, I learned three D. I I thought like you know what. Let me transition my entire intellectual property into something that's more 3D, and I can do a lot more with it. It's going pretty good.、Uh, we actually, so I, I I formed a team during the pandemic.、Uh, this team comprises of eight people, including myself. We've been working for about a year. We got featured on Singapore Games Association Industry Day.、Uh, so the students of different schools and institutions could show their work, and we showed Serpentine. Then it clicked to me that. This was the way to go.、Uh, we wanted to go with games、uh, and 3D. Yeah, it, it took the form of a comic. Then we tried to go for a full like novel comic mix. Then we went to 3D, and then now it's a game. So <laughs> yeah, it was like a full journey.、Yeah. Serpentine is actually about、um, the white snake, Pai Se Zuan. So it is a Chinese folk tale、um, based in West Lake, Hangzhou. Uh, China, uh, she is actually so this little white snake is a demoness.、Uh, she fell in love with a man called Shi Xian, and then they became married. But the entire world they frowned upon this marriage because it was unordained, it was unorthodox. You know, a human and a demon, a monk kind of like separates them, and she gets imprisoned for like eternity. So this is kind of where、uh, Serpentine picks up, where one thousand years after imprisonment, like 
what happens then. Uh, it is the World War II. Yeah, and she kind of like wakes up in this new violent world and then she kind of like has to find her way around. So the, the, the funny thing is that she's a snake demoness that kind of cares for one human, but she is put in an environment where humans are at their worst. That's kind of like how some character development might go. We are developing Serpentine to be a single player game uh, with compelli compelling storytelling. Uh, it is a hack and slash game where you play as the Lady White Snake in this new world. Uh, I am developing it as my FYP and you can catch us at uh, 37 Emerald Hill from the 15th to 29th May and you'll be able to play the demo there. Thanks.